Good day, Royal fans. Welcome back to the channel for today's juicy headline. Once the blazing candles on the Duke of Edinburgh's 100th birthday cake are blown out, he is said to be separated from his wife for the first time since they began isolating together at Windsor Castle last year. Sources within the House of Windsor say the Queen will remain in London at Buckingham Palace once their summer of festivities, including her own troop in the colour and Philip Century, both in June, come to an end. She has a burning desire to get back to almost full-time work, a source revealed. The Duke, meanwhile, retired in 2017 and is quite determined to stick to his plan of seeing out his years up at San Jerome Estate. As long as he is able, he will meet the Queen for weekends every few weeks at Balmoral, particularly when it's warm enough for them both to travel. While the Queen is determined to maintain a busy schedule, you can expect her sons and daughter, along with the Cambridges, to be much more visible. Meanwhile, Prince Philip is currently being treated for an ongoing infection as a precautionary measure and is residing at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London. The palace explained in a statement that the Duke of Edinburgh was today transferred from King Edward VII's hospital to St. Bartholomew's Hospital, where doctors will continue to treat him for an infection as well as undertake testing and observation for a pre-existing heart condition. It continued with the Duke remains comfortable and is responding to treatment, but is expected to remain in hospital until at least the end of the week. While it seems a little alarming to hear of the Prince's lengthy stay in hospital, it seems it's still business as usual back in Windsor Castle, where the Queen has continued to reside throughout the majority of the COVID-19 pandemic. Alright guys, there's today's headline. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching and your ongoing support, and goodbye for now.